come on, I'm barely paddling. You know when you just get the funny feeling like, are we supposed to be on the other side of the road? I no, idea. no, I don't either. <laughs> Hey, I'm Kit and this is Lee and welcome to Life Lemons Travel. We sold everything, left our jobs and moved out of our flat to work, live and travel in our Renault Kangoo. Her name is Peggy. Hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications and follow our journey as we explore Europe and figure out our new life on the road in a mini camper. Store say to fasten. You can hear it now in front of me. We've hiked one and a half kilometers uphill, so not too far. But yeah, this is it here. And I wanted to see this one so badly because you get to walk behind it. So the time has come for us to leave Norway. We're just leaving Geiranger Fjord now. We just had to stop off to get one last look at the most epic view over the yeah, fjord. And like the sun was just shining, got it perfectly. Yeah, just the beams of light coming over the over the top of the mountains. It's just incredible. We've had a really, really good couple of days here. We've had an awesome time in Norway over the last couple of weeks. And you, you know what? There's so much to see and explore. Oh, it's a vast. You could spend six months here and not even scratch yeah. the surface. It is just absolutely magical, what you see. Um, but in a weird way, we're both quite ready to leave. Yeah, which is surprising because Guy Ranga has been very kind to us when it comes to the weather. We've had a gorgeous couple of days. Oh my God. I mean, I don't know how hot it was today, but it, it's got to be at least 23 or something. Yeah. Over the, over the couple of weeks and whatever we've been in Norway, we've had probably five or six days of really, really nice weather. Yeah. Um, and we've achieved so much in that time. We feel really satisfied with what we've done. Yeah. So we don't feel like we're leaving Norway and, and with any disappointment like oh there's so many things we wanted to do and don't get me wrong further south in the fjords we had a list a ton like a, a list as long as long as our arm i spit my words out <laughs> we are ready to move on we're excited to head to to amsterdam obviously going to visit copenhagen on the way you know what we're also excited about to be able to walk in a shop and buy loads of snacks and not feel guilty about how much money you spend we are looking forward to finding <laughs> a little aren't we like as sad yeah. as that sounds really do you want to show the viewers what the mountain pass looks like on here look at the phone it's still going it's crazy yeah lots of long windy roads so cool though like, so many epic drives like, yeah like ones that you don't hear about because maybe they don't look as um 
spectacular from the road or something, but they're insane and there's so many of them. One of the most magical places I've visited. We'll keep you updated as the journey continues over the next few days. So we almost went to go get a McDonald's because we were really hungry and we were really hot and sometimes you just make bad decisions when you're hungry and hot. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the supermarket, we got tortilla chips, some of this like amazing like pepper and onion Philadelphia stuff, ham, cheese, donuts. We almost got ice cream but... We were actually gobsmacked weren't we? It was, it was so the... cheap! Yeah. There was like a half litre tubs of oatly, hazelnut and caramel and stuff, I've never seen it before, like the oatly milk. And it was £1.60. Yeah. Uh, the ice cream, yeah. The ice yeah, cream was, yeah, yeah the ice cream. Um, but it would just melt <laughs> by the time we've even like <laughs> made some wraps up. And we also got some chocolate. I was like, Kit, we should just tear up the rule book and eat the ice cream on the way back to the car. And, then and I was lunch, like, no, there and is... After. <laughs> I don't believe that foods should be beholden to certain times of the day, but what I do believe it is that it has to be eaten in a certain order. <laughs> so I couldn't have ice cream and then savoury food. So yeah, all of that came to what, like eight or nine pounds? Found, like, yeah, a, a big bar of chocolate for like maybe just over a quid. Yeah, we'll make some maps up now and then get on the road again. Enjoy <laughs> a little uh, boot lunch. Where, Kitty? Oh, babe, it's a donut filled with chocolate. And it was an absolute bargain, which makes it taste even better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi guys. Right, so quick little update. We are driving um, to Helsingborg this morning. We've got about five and a half hours to go and Helsingborg is where we will get our ferry from Sweden to Denmark. Um, to keep making our way back down to Amsterdam. We've got the rest of the day uh, to get our ferries and it's only quarter to midday now. <laughs> Sorry, Lee's, excuse me. Lee's have been sneezing like every minute for the last 12 <laughs> hours. We don't know what's making him sneeze, but it's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly annoying as well. <laughs> Especially when a lorry's coming, entering the motorway on a slip road and he's trying to put his foot down. So yeah, five and a half hours to go. We will be in Helsingborg in Sweden, getting our ferry to Denmark. So we'll update you later. We visited Copenhagen for all of about five hours. In this time, we managed to visit Freetown Christiania. Christiania is an intentional community set up in direct response to Copenhagen's lack of affordable housing and social facilities. 
The phone snaps you can see are all we were comfortably able to capture, as photos and videos are not allowed to be taken in most parts of this community due to the fact that drugs are openly sold here from little booths. Other rules in Christiania include no running, no weapons, no bikers or gang colours and no stealing. The free town is run down yet bright and vibrant with murals, graffiti and sculptures created by those that live there. You can buy food and drinks from the vendors there too. This place was fascinating. <laughs> is this our first dip, actual dip in the sea? Uh, Watch out you for... dipped your toe in in yeah. Norway. I mean, oh, that's pretty Whoa. fresh. Oh, this is still pretty fair. Okay. Go in, you, know? you know what, we just have to get in, we just have to do it. It's our first opportunity to have a proper dip in the sea and Kitty is already pushing out of it. No, I'm not. So we've just biked today 24 kilometres into Copenhagen and we've just got back and we were racing against the town so we got mega, mega sweaty. We got back with three minutes to spare to the bike rental place. Yeah. Um, and we're parked just over there. Which is amazing. <laughs> you can't probably really see Peggy from here. No. And then we walked five minutes that way to hire the bike. And now I've just come to this beach, which we were told by a very nice Danish gentleman earlier yeah. that it was built by a Danish architect called Arne Jakobsen. Or was it his money that they used well, to build his it? Money. I think. He, he's a very famous Danish architect. And this beach is named after him, basically. And this it's area. a man made beach. This area is called the Jak Jakobsen Estate. So. So now we're going to go for a swim because we're mega sweaty. Who's going in first? I think you are. I've you got, seem more. I'm, up ho for I'm holding the GoPro, so I need to film you going in first. Come on then, let's do it together. <laughs> Stop messing around now. <laughs> well, it's just it's when you go, it's getting up to the hips, isn't it? Or get those get those thighs get wet. Those thighs in. <laughs> I think he's going in. You're going to count me down. Ooh. Also, have you seen that t-shirt tan? <laughs> That's a strong t-shirt tan, isn't it? It's coming along nicely, babe. <laughs> I've been working hard on that. <laughs> You're gonna count me in. Three, two, one. <laughs> no messing around. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> two hours later. <laughs> I'm still this is, I'm still this is, this is the preliminary warm up dance. <laughs> and then, now the arms do this. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the shoulders under. You're not technically under yet. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. Proof. <laughs> What facts belong, it's hard to say Your pattern is so hard to tell But we're together, that's our game Round and round and round we go The dance ain't over, I'm sure we're still the same Love the ways you make us whole Would you say... Hi guys! Hi guys! <laughs> Hi, hi! Hi, hi! We arrived in Amsterdam Hoof <laughs> Yesterday evening, we're going to a festival today. We're going to Mystery Land, which I booked a long time ago for Lee's birthday. Yeah, we checked onto a campsite last night. It's our first campsite since we set off. Well, and well, it will be a month on Wednesday. It will be a, a month, month in three days. A month on Wednesday, so three day in three days' time, we'd have been on the road a month. This is the first time we've paid to stay at a campsite. We'll show you some footage from the rest of today. Yeah. And it See you some later. Banging tunes and some awful dance moves. <laughs> oh, definitely some awful dancing. <laughs>
but I think I've got to go here. I can't even see where Lee is because I haven't got my glasses on, but he told me to stand in between these two plows. So we've just parked the car, um, not far from Lake Evesy. We're just walking there now. We managed to find free parking. It's not Didn't... Lake Evesy. It's not Lake Evesy. <laughs> what lake is it? <laughs> <laughs> 